networks and careers outside of paid work through their other interests such as blogs, clubs or media projects. And the luckiest ones also find a, a way to make a living out of these projects. But I could say that my grandfather, during his whole life, he never stopped learning. Today in Finland, nearly everyone enjoys a long, uninter uninterrupted pathway of education and learning, from early childhood education and care to comprehensive school and to general and vocational upper secondary education. We also know that learning doesn't only take place in these formal settings, but in a whole range of environments where we learn. Kids learn on their way to school, we learn at home, we learn in our leisure activities, we learn in our community organizations, we learn in our voluntary work, and we learn when we are scrolling through our social media feeds. We learn by doing, we learn by reading, and work itself is also one of our, our most important learning environments. But this varied nature of work is both good and bad. First of all, I don't want our occupations to define how we think of ourselves as human beings. What people want nowadays, and I think it's only a good development, that our demands on working life are growing bigger. People want to work in an environment where they can thrive and learn from others. We want work to engage our minds. We want work to offer opportunities for development. And many people also want to do work that is somehow environmentally or socially significant. And we also, and especially among younger uh, citizens, increasingly value the social relationships that we form at work. However, we should also keep in mind that people who wish to build a career out of short-term contracts, out of different projects, also need to keep exceeding expectations and succeeding in what they do while constantly seeking out new projects, new opportunities and possibilities to be networking with the right people, just as you are doing here today. <laughs> people with such working lives must be able to show resilience in the face of uncertainty and deal with recurring periods of no income and, and uh, precariousness. The demands of working life are also high. This is one reason why the employment, employment rate of people without an upper, upper secondary qualification is just over 40% in Finland. Automatization, technological development, artificial intelligence are only expected to accelerate this trend. According to the OECD, automation now uh, threatens 6.5% of finished jobs, while 21% of jobs could change significant, significantly over the next 10 to 20 years. <laughs> 